carrots and broccoli like who would have thought that those were fucking hybrids and literally made in factories <laughs> like they make this shit on purpose because they like to pump everything with all kinds of brainwashing chemicals but anyway i can never get it when i'm on the ground you can never get it when you pull me down even when i fall let's be open now something about the space that i honor now something about the race of the richest town something about this place falling down I don't wanna glow up just to watch you drown. This ain't Holly Choco, we in fighting now. Hey, it's Zana. So this video is about a 12 day fast that I'm currently doing. I've never done a fast before, so I wanted to include this video on my YouTube and share my experience. But I'm currently on day two, so I'm literally at the very, very start of it. And I just wanna talk about what it is I'm doing, why I'm doing it, how important fasting is, and then I'm gonna make another video further down the line of this 12 day fast and share my experience again on how it's going because like I said, I've never done one before and I've wanted to do them for absolutely ages, like years. But as with a lot of things, it starts in the mind first. Like it's a mental discipline almost that needs to happen before you can actually physically do the fast. So. I would always talk myself back out of it, to be honest, like, I would always decide I want to do something, but I hadn't really fully convinced myself of why I needed to do it, like, why it was important for me to do it, so then I would just either not start it, or I would give up, you know, I'm sure lots of people go through that, so... I've been um, vegetarian for the past three years and that's kind of really how my like journey of learning the knowledge about spirituality and things like that, how that really started was three years ago because I started looking into the food industry first and discovered the crazy shit that they put in our food and how the majority of food isn't even natural like it's man-made like carrots and broccoli like who would have thought that those were fucking hybrids and literally made in factories <laughs> like they make this shit on purpose because they like to pump everything with all kinds of brainwashing chemicals but anyway that's for a whole other video so i've decided this time around that i want to do a fast and i want to kind of cut out starch and sugar because I have such a sweet tooth it is not even normal like sometimes I can't even go a day without eating some kind of chocolate or dessert or something sweet you know honestly it happens all the time completely takes over my brain <laughs> so I really feel like now is time to kick these cravings even if I were to have some kind of dessert every now and then like I really just want to kick these cravings so that I'm not dependent upon it you know so that is why I decided to start doing it also I feel like when you start learning all of this knowledge of ancient teachings and things like that it's important to take care of your body like I feel like that's the next step is you then start adjusting your lifestyle and things to actually coincide with the knowledge that you're learning and that you're integrating you know so it's definitely helpful because when you're eating shit it just makes you feel terrible like you feel sluggish you feel tired sometimes even after just eating a meal i'll feel exhausted you know like food coma kind of thing but that's not a normal thing that's not good that's not natural food shouldn't make you feel like you need to now go and have a nap just because you've eaten something you know because it's so heavy on the body and the body can't process those foods but obviously we're taught that that's what we need to survive when it really isn't how we survive you know like our bodies are literally it's either 70 percent or 80 percent water so why are we eating such heavy food that clogs up organs and arteries and stuff when we're literally 70 percent water so surely the most things that we would need is water to survive but you don't really think about that and that never really occurred to me until more recently so i'm doing a liquid fast because i feel like i could not do water fasting like i could not jump straight into that right now i don't think my mind could handle that you know our mind kind of blocks us more than our body does so i decided to do a juice fast a liquid fast and try it out for 12 days and just see what happens and only like the juice is literally just natural fruit and lots of herbs like herb medicine as dr sabi recommends literally like the main reason why i want to do this is to detox my body like we all have parasites and things like that inside our bodies because of the amount of crap that we're eating especially like in today's world where the majority of it is fast food and fizzy drinks and all that kind of stuff so i know for me like 
the more that I'm becoming self-aware and like hearing my thoughts and things, I'm also becoming more aware of my body and how it feels, especially after eating certain foods. So I decided I really want to just detox from all of it because I've been wanting to transition over to vegan and like more fruitarian as well. And like just eat, basically I just want to eat live food, you know, like I just want to feel good in my body but because it's a mental thing first it's been really hard to let go of the old foods and transition because the cravings come up and then they just kind of overtake everything <laughs> so this main reason for this detox is to kick those cravings and completely clear my body of all the rubbish so then it's easier to make healthier choices you know and it doesn't feel like such a chore and such a burden to choose fruit and vegetables over a pizza <laughs> so and also it means that I'll like start to enjoy it more so then I'll actually enjoy making more vegan style meals and more like vegetable style meals rather than just picking up pasta or pizza or something out of convenience you know because a lot of the times it is convenience too because I do love the taste of fruit and veg but I just get a bit lazy when it comes to making stuff even though it shouldn't actually be that bleh even though it shouldn't actually be that difficult to make fucking fruit and vegetables, like it's completely raw, it's just there. So I don't know why I do that, to be honest, like it's not really that difficult to make a vegetable meal, so I don't know. But this is the mind for you. So I've been researching this for so long and when I get like an idea in my mind, I go full fucking force and will spend days just researching it and I can't seem to focus on anything else until I know exactly what I'm doing and where it's going to happen and how I'm going to do it. So I've been researching juice fasting for ages and watching loads of videos and listening to like what Dr. Sabi says about it and things like that. But on top of this fast, I also decided that I'm only going to eat between 12 and 8, which has probably been the hardest part. Like, I feel like eating the fruit and veg is fine. It's just the times. But I really want to do that because the whole point of a detox is to allow your organs to actually take the time to heal and repair instead of focusing on digestion. So I wanted to restrict the amount of hours in a day that I'm consuming food. So then throughout the evening and all night, right the way around until 12pm, it can heal itself. So that's the main reason why I'm just limiting to eight hours a day and then having the other 16 hours, <laughs> I had to think about that then, the other 16 hours for my body to just heal itself. Because our bodies do heal themselves. Like if you cut your arm, your skin heals over itself, you know? So our whole body naturally can heal itself, but we just fill it with so much shit constantly throughout the day that it doesn't have time. And also it can't digest half the food that we're eating. But you know that they feed that to us on purpose because they want us all ill and dying so that they can profit off of our sickness. Which sounds really morbid, but it's the truth. So for breakfast, I'm just having tons of water because we are like 80% water. So I'm trying to up my water intake and have as much as possible. And I saw somebody yesterday on a video say that when you're when you feel like you're hungry, you're not, you're thirsty. And I've always known that, but that kind of is really true because of the fact that we're like 70 or 80% water. So like, of course it's thirst. So yeah, for breakfast, it's lots of water and herbal teas because I'm not trying to eat until 12 p.m. ish, 12 or 1 p.m. So I'm just having water and herbal teas in the morning and then I will go on to have some kind of juice. So. This is only day two, so for day one and day two, I've been making apple juice, like out of apples. I've just been blending apples up with some lime juice and some ginger. And it's actually really nice. I thought it was gonna be a bit like too sweet, but with water added, it's actually really nice. So I've been having like six apples into juice every day <laughs> for lunch. So, and obviously by that point, I'm very hungry so it's going down a treat and then after that I will have a smoothie so I've just been doing any kind of smoothie from like I'm trying to do more green smoothies because obviously they're full of nutrients but I also include sea moss into the apple juice and smoothies and sea moss is just so fucking incredible and Dr. Sabi recommends it and I've been drinking sea moss 
sea moss, what the fuck. I've been drinking sea moss for like, I want to say two months now, possibly, maybe a bit longer. I can't remember, <laughs> but it's been a few months, maybe three months. But anyway, it's been a while because obviously I didn't realize how nutrient dense it is. So when I realized that, I'm like, okay, I need to get this shit now. So it actually has 92 of the nutrients in it out of the 102 nutrients that the body needs. So it's like a complete superfood. You know, if you include that in loads of your meals, then you're getting the majority of the nutrients that you need. So yeah, that is kind of the whole food of what I'm eating. Yesterday was the first day, so I felt very tired. And I was quite surprised that that happened literally straight away, but I feel like maybe it was a mental thing because obviously the mind is more powerful than anything. And so, I think the fact that I knew I was fasting, it like, I convinced myself that I was feeling shit and tired. But then when I went to sleep and woke up today, I woke up feeling so much better, but I did feel very fucking hungry. Like, not gonna lie. So this morning I felt really hungry and then I tried to stick with it and just have a tea. And then as soon as 12 hit, straight onto apple juice and then i also had a melon i allowed myself to have a honeydew melon because they are like they are mainly water so i figured that can't hurt <laughs> it's just like drinking water but yeah so this is just the introduction to this fast and then i'm going to update you in a few days and let you know how it's going on but i feel like i just feel more determined this time i'm really excited to actually heal my body and kick these cravings and just feel good you know i just want to feel alive in my vessel and instead of feeling like sluggish and having no energy you know so yeah i don't know how this is gonna go but i also know that it's very powerful and the mind is more powerful so if i tell my mind that it's gonna be good and it's gonna be incredible then it will be and that is a fact, just saying. <laughs> so that is it for this video. I hope I didn't ramble too much because I'm feeling really like hyper now, which is very strange because yesterday I had no energy whatsoever. And right now I'm feeling a bit like, ah! <laughs> you know, I'm a bit high on life right now. So I feel like I'm rambling all over the place. But yeah, so that is this that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. All my links to music, social media and everything like that will be in the description box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I need a man that will hold me down. If he a yes man,